All right, Justin, you're you're the host today. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the new host. I'm going to be uh, subbing in when Antoine isn't available or capable or mentally culpable to do the, ta- <laughs> do the task. Oh, man. Oh, I mean, t- today's like, um, I, I th- I'm sure you guys have similar days like that where it's like an off day, so you, you eat less food. Oh, yeah. And I've been eating five meals on most days anyway. Yeah. So it's like, oh, man, you don't train. My car, my yoga was done the, this morning early, and then I'm just waiting like, on a timer for my meals. That's hard. Just, yes, it's a little bit challenging. People who don't prep think like, well, five meals is a lot of food. But no. It's like, oh, man, I'm at, it's like, it's like 3,600 calories. Maybe a little bit more because I up my protein. But it's, it bad. feels like it feels like I'm eating a bikini diet. The problem but, um, is when you're when you're not training, I always find in the gym is like that's the only place I'm not really focused on food. I'm training. Me too. I you're right. Spend, I spend a few days. I can stretch and foam roll, stay busy, do my cardio, train, and then that's like four hours of my day I can block out in, in a prep scenario. Yeah, so where well, you don't home, eat. You're just like. Yeah, I know. It's rough. That and also. When I play a video game, if I'm really into it, I'm like, oh, cool, like 40 minutes just passed. I'm like, thank God. Then I, then, I, then I think about food for 20 minutes, and then it's like a boss fight that I kind of obsess over, and then I kill more time. I'm like, okay, another 20, I can eat again. So, like, lately, like, um, so my, I, I, did, I was only about to train one client this week, but he had a ski accident, sadly. Oh, Robert got a concussion. So his daughter texts me like, hey, I don't want you to train my dad this week. I'm like, all right. Like, for me, it's like it's a blessing in disguise. I'm surprised you're still training clients right now. Me too. I, well, I, I, last week I did a bunch of them, and I was like, man, this is like, they're not getting 100% of, of yeah. what they're paying for in my when, head. So when do you leave for Ohio? Tuesday. Nice. Yeah, nice. I'm going to drive okay. down there. So, um, yeah, now, like, the only relief I have it's like it's when I'm like I have to I make my meal. I sit down. And I'm watching. I started the series The Boys. You've seen that? Good, great that show. That's good, dude. Dude, I love that show. I, so like right now, it's like the only relief I have is like I have when my meal is already. I I watch The Boys and I'm just like eating a little bit and I'm trying not to eat too fast. Then as soon as my food is is um done, I kind of wait a little bit and then when I start thinking about food too much, I go play video games, try to kill time, and then after that, I, I come back over here. And um, fuck the, the thumbs up. How does that do that? I always like I can never. I don't trigger know. It. And then um, and then I come back when it's time to yeah, I come back and watch the boys, and I just super set video game the boys. It's the super only set. thing. So yeah. What's se- what season of the boys are you on? Uh, it's right here. It's uh season three, episode eight. I think. It's okay, so you're almost done because I think there's only three seasons right now. No way, only three seasons. Yeah. There's yeah. that, that show. Nick, did you watch Gen V? Did you watch that show? No, I didn't watch that one yet. You should watch it. It was good. So it's like a spinoff. It's like the same universe as... No, there's four seasons, the guys. There's four seasons. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on it right now. Okay. I'm looking at it. Okay. Well, then, yeah, cool. yeah. Then you're good. That I'm show's good. awesome, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's like exactly the type of shit I like where it's like it's, it's pretty entertaining. And then sometimes yeah. there's just like gratuitous free violence that's like creative I'm like, holy fuck, he just blew the guy's head off. <laughs> Remember that or scene where the girl, off. the head popper, just pops all the heads in yeah. the um, in court? That was a fucking fucked up scene. So shit like yeah. that, I like, you know, like, so if I can, yeah, eating a meal, there's a good fucking episode like that. Dude, it's like the only thing I, I like, or when my day's over and I'm in bed, it's like, I wish I was unconscious in between all my meals, to be honest. I don't think I don't think people understand if you've never really done it, you don't understand how like bridging yeah. those meals. For me, the easiest time not to eat is in the morning. So I would just like fast until like eleven a.m. Yeah. just on on fucking coffee, and then I'd have my first meal at eleven. That way, it's like eleven one three five oh, seven nine. I yeah. I do the same. I try I to eat that. a meal ten or eleven. That way, yeah. it's like it's a- easier, right? Because yeah. if I'm you get up like, right before bed, I'm eating my last meal. That way, I go to bed and I'm yeah. not hungry. Yeah, or only I do that. Hungry. Yeah, and I'm yeah. and I'm still I'm still doing the uh, the Ninja Creamies with the the Pro HD, so See, it's that's, like that's really good for like a sweet tooth, but it doesn't satiate you. I feel no, like. I know, but that it's in my, my my meal plan, so it doesn't satiate me. But as soon as I'm done, I try to get to bed and sleep. So that's your last meal. So that's like what meal six is just protein. Meal five. Meal five. Meal five. Damn, son. 
Yeah. And the thing is, even my high days and my normal days are, the only difference is like meal one, two, three have more carbs. So four and yeah. five, they're both like small, 200 grams of rice. And then it's like uh, the equivalent of 150 for the last one uh, around that. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, unless I have a high day, I have six meals, but I didn't, I have like one or two a week sometimes. And why'd you go down to five meals? The whole, yeah, we, start, we, we, we started prep like that. And uh, just to, um, I don't know, I just say, give me, you know, when you start prep, you're like, you're not, you're not too strict in the off season. And like, you know what? Give me five meals. I'm going to start with that for a week or two. And then I started feeling good. My waist went down. And we just like I started getting good results. We just kept that, except on the high days. Yeah, I I started prep last year with five meals, and then we re, we introduced a sixth one, probably eight weeks out or so when my appetite was up. I just was mm. like, I was hungry, I just wanted. Well, more I meal. could eat. I could eat. Fucking so I think we meal. we pulled like I think what Matt did was like he pulled the carbs in my fifth meal, and then essentially replaced those calories with another protein meal. So all I ended up with is like a no carb meal, then another protein meal. So it just kind of like balanced out calorie wise, but then at least the mm. frequency of eating was high. Yeah. Yeah. My food per meal is a little bit higher. Like even today on my off day, I get 10 ounces of cooked per, uh, chicken. So it's like, um, usually I would only have six, right? If you eat like six meals, you have six or something, seven. But now I had like, yeah. I had more, I have more per, per, per meal. So it also gives a break to the gut. It's just, it's just harder yeah. to prep like that. Dude, I find it's harder to prep because you're like, there's bigger gaps to fill out, especially when you're not training. Because when you're training, you can stretch it out. Like if you go to the gym, you work out, and then you pose. And then if you stretch, you talk for 10 minutes to a person. And then these four hours goes by in between the two meals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when you're not training, there's, there's none of that. Yeah, it sucks. I, yeah. I remember Dorian saying he likes to, um, like he'll pull carbs earlier in the day. It's like your first meal would have a zero carb instead of towards the end of the day. Is that how you guys are doing it? Um, or no, do you have carbs in all your meals? I have carbs in all my meals. Yeah, all my meals have carbs. It's just that the, I always end up with some. I always end up with some no carb meals for sure. No, 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 not for me. I for some reason is the I'm losing body fat pretty fast anyway. So yeah, yes, that's not a problem for me. But my problem is like this prep. I think we did pretty good, a good job where I stayed fuller the whole prep, and. It kind of whatever we did this prep, I did a few changes compared to the other preps, and I feel like I'm gonna be at my best ever. So that's, awesome. that's why, like, it's a little bit different. Even the five meals sounds kind of weird because, as a pro bodybuilder, you would think, "Hey, he, this guy will eat seven. Five is like a beginner prep diet, right? But um, because I got good improvements, we we're like, "Hey, this is working. Let's not change anything." And for some reason, my waist went down. My weight, I'm a few pounds heavier uh, than the other preps at this point. So it's like if my muscles are fuller, I have a little bit more muscle in the upper body. I think a little bit less in the legs, and then my waist is tighter. It gives like a different look, I find. Yeah. I mean, we'll see, right? We'll see uh, in the fucking eight days, guys. That's exciting, dude. This fucking came up fast. Crazy. I know. Yeah, how's your, how's your prep cue? Because you, you're, you're in the mid middle of it now. Bro, I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to get it down now? You push it, you're pushing? Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to push the fat off right now. Mm. I know you yeah. mentioned you had like some issues when you were first starting prep. What was going yeah. on? Bro, honestly, when I when we pulled the NPP, everything stopped. Like really? Stopped. Yeah, everything's good now. <laughs> uh, your dick dick oh. staying harder too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sex good. drive is better, mood. Like, good. My, good. Um, yeah, my immune system's way better. It's crazy. It, that wasn't the only issue. There's other things in life that are stressing mm -hmm. me out that mm -hmm. also create issues. But yeah, everything's been great for the past like five weeks, I'd say. Good. So how many? So okay, roughly, if uh, whatever. So <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll, how many? How many? How many weeks have you been dieting? <laughs> how many weeks oh, have you been dieting? I, I've been dieting like twelve weeks. Twelve oh, weeks. Really? That long? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in wow. total, it's good. So it must be doing like an earlier show in the year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because the first part of prep, it kind of sucks for everyone, right? For yeah. for different reasons. But the first part it's of like prep, I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. You, but Nick, Nick I mean, you're fucking you started shredding. Yeah, I'm doing all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's cool. 
You look, everyone, what, everyone thought like legit two weeks ago you were still doing the Arnold. That's how you looked. I still think I'm doing the Arnold. I know. <laughs> Nick, I think I think you could probably like you could have done the Arnold if you wanted. You've you've done that before where you just fucking you've looked the way you looked and then you fucking got super shredded and huge. Because that yeah, but that, I, I didn't. I wasn't ready to to risk the hamstring yet. No, true, true, true. No. How is it now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent, but it's. It's where I can train it uh, almost full intensity. I just don't do anything it, it, where it puts it in an extreme stress position. Like I haven't done um, any type of RDLs or stiff legs or any of that shit at all. And with the way they're looking, I, I don't. I don't even think I really need it at this point, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, you got good hamstrings. Well, that was the thing, right? It's like. It, it it happened to a, a body part where, it you know it, I didn't really I, I could pull back a little bit and then Hammy, it ain't gonna yeah, go hammies nowhere. were never the issue when it came to your legs, your legs, your hamstrings. No, right so yeah. and that's why, like right now, I I don't. Are Quentin, are you still tra- training four days a week? Yeah, still four days a week. What that's what I'm doing. Like I, I do Mondays or I do shoulders, uh, traps and triceps. Tuesdays I do back and rear delts. I take Wednesday off. I do Thursdays, chest and biceps, and Friday I do full legs. And then I had to take the whole weekend off. And honestly, I just feel like my body's been responding really, really well to it. That's awesome. Yo, you're you're in uh sorry, go ahead, Quentin. It's funny you say that. Like I'm on a different, like my split is a little different, but the days, like I train Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, train Thursday, Friday, and rest on the weekends, and it's one of the best things I've ever done. Wow. It is. I feel like it allows you to train more intensely because you're maximizing recovery, which in return creates less inflammation, but increases strength, I'd say, a little faster, at least for me anyway. I mean, that's how Dorian did it his whole career. Yeah. You know, I think I think the only like thing reason why not would be if you had a body part you really needed to bring up and you needed that additional day for frequency. Like for me, yeah, I but, like, and I just I think that's also due to lack of someone being able to connect with a muscle really well. Because I, I mean, I personally feel if you can connect with every muscle to that level and train it that intensely, one one shot should really be all you need, in my opinion. Yeah, I want to try that well, after four days. I, I love I it. Yeah, never last off season I had a lot, a lot of it. I did a. Uh, four days a week and i really it's, it's a mental thing for sure because like you want to train right mm-hmm. but like you, 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 once you just kind of commit to it you, you really do see like the benefit over over it over time and you're like oh like you know because I, I even told matt i'm like look man like i i want to stick to this like i like it i enjoy it i think it's working let's just ride it out and he's like okay. matt's all about it matt's big time on recovery he's always going to prioritize like I get massages twice a week now. I go Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, and that I'll do like an hour and a half massage on those days. And on those days, I'll do the where I go. My guy has a cold plunge in a sauna. So I'll do that right after. And we started dope. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah, awesome. So, so, uh, so you have the urge to tell people you're doing cold plunge because you're doing it? <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, right? How he is like, because when yeah, I, when he, I do, when, he told me, yeah. when he I'm, told in, me when I'm into it, when I'm into it, when I'm into it, I'm like, I kind of want to fucking tell people I'm doing this. <laughs> I tell them I cold plunge, motherfucker. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we should do a podcast in the cold plunge. See how long we last? Nope. Not going to do that. <laughs> how long do you do it, Nick? Um, the longest so far in his, I, I've done four minutes. Four yeah. Minutes. And how so, uh, what's, what's the temperature? Uh, to, the, today he had it at uh, 42. Yeah, that's okay. cold. Yeah, fuck okay, yeah, that's cool. You know, one one that's of the funniest cool. thing I've seen in person was Q getting in the first cold plunge at the mansion. <laughs> Dude, that you was, like it? Q that was <laughs> no, but I won't lie. I whenever I've done it, I've felt fantastic afterwards. Dude, does it that, make you tired? It kind of makes me a little sleepy. Really? I feel like I can sleep well after. Is that ju- is that just me? Because <laughs> like I'm I'm kind of tired. I'm not gonna lie. You pro- your big ass probably expels so many calories just tensing up in there. That you're yeah. Like, so you did the massage before? Yeah. That's why you're tired. Because because the, the dopamine uh, you get from the doing the cold plunge actually uh, me it wakes me up. I've done it pre workout before when we we had it at the gym. I would go in there mm-hmm. just a minute and I fucking get out of there like whoa. 
It's like a slap in the face. Like a we, it wakes you up, but then like once yeah. I get home and I like sit down, I'm like, oh yes, it's, uh, yeah. The combination of the I'm tired stuff. now. Do at the at the mansion we had the the hot tub and the cold plunge outside. Those two that's, together, that's that was the best combo. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. There was like this little uh, like a spa, little uh, Japanese style spa that I took Jasmine to on uh, Valentine's Day last year that had a cold plunge and a hot tub outside. It's fucking nice. Nice a Japanese one, huh? Yeah, we got like a. I, oh. you know, I, I wanted a little Japanese massage, maybe a little, you know, but <laughs> little little Japanese. tub on the nub. Yep. <laughs> under, no. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I got horrible news. Horrible news. Why do I? Why do I feel like you're fucking with us? Kind of, but it's horrible news for me. Um, I got my. I did my food sensitivity test, right? Oh, and man. I got a. And I got a back today. You can't eat chicken or rice. No, worse. What? <laughs> Nut butter. Almond butter. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know yeah. what about peanut butter? Can you eat that? that I can do peanut butter. I can't do anything almond. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, did you notice any actual issues or distress when you were eating almond butter? You want to be honest with you? N- n- yeah. No, I thought well, it was rice. Listen, I, I think it's, I, dude. I really think it's more important to listen to your own personal biofeedback. Like I, I was seeing a gut health specialist, and and she, like, firmly recommended I didn't do a food sensitivity test. She says they're just, in her experiences, they were mostly inaccurate or at least just laid out way too many foods for people like it's just like gonna tell you you can't eat anything. well i told i told man i was like take it the fuck out <laughs> yeah like dude listen and remove it and see what improves but like if well, that's what i said it, like i'm gonna i want to i do want to try it like because i always said like i felt like rice was the problem so we actually removed rice and i was just eating buckwheat all day and i i felt less bloated less inflamed but I would still periodically, even now, like I still have that feeling, and I'm like, maybe it's the almond butter, like maybe it was because we do a lot of almond butter. Like I, I, I'm out of like six of my meals, four of it is like thirty grams of almond butter. No shit. Mm-hmm. I've actually I've been doing like peanut butter or almond butter, banana, and chicken rice pre workout, and I have a mild oh. a mild sensitivity to banana. Oh, oh no, damn, dude! I, don't, I I noticed that meal had been sitting pretty heavy in my stomach. I just told Jasmine, I was like, I think I gotta pull the nut butter. So I did. I pulled almond butter like two days ago, and I do feel better. I just I feel like sometimes I can tolerate it, and sometimes it just sits hard. Yeah. So like, and he he's just gonna make changes. Like we're gonna add rice back in a little bit, just to, mm-hmm. you know, just because because that was something I'm allowed to eat, and I'm like, well, all right. It's such a such a rabbit hole, isn't it? Like, it is so but he yeah. what we were doing he's like look man like i don't want to completely abandon shit like things are working so let's just change some stuff and see what happens um and like i can't have any potato except sweet potato so yeah yeah that's mm. weird and it, so that instagram post you made the other day did you actually buy all that almond butter from no that was a joke but i did buy like <laughs> six, i did buy like six of those though i was gonna say you just bought a fucking cart full of that shit oh, man. no that was just for a video but i did buy like six so i just looked at my dad like an hour ago i was like well you you can have them now <laughs> <laughs> that's tough dude i know yeah and I, listen i'm not saying it isn't valid i just had been told by somebody like that i was working with that i trusted that just felt like in her experience it was telling like, all her patients laying out all these foods and i've seen it with with some clients that'll come to me like my food sensitivity says i can't eat chicken eggs rice potatoes salmon i'm like god damn what the fuck can you eat well it's like well that's the thing like they always say if you eat something so much you can mm-hmm. become like chicken was fine and i eat chicken literally five six times a day um yeah turkey was on there though really you don't really do ground turkey I haven't in a long time, no. I haven't either. I just usually do chicken breast. Mm-hmm. Beef was on there. They were all mild, though. So there, yeah. there's like three. It's like severe, moderate, mild. And so beef Matt, beef and bison were like in the mild. So That sucks, dude, because that's like my shit. I know. Matt, Matt just sent me a test because I've been dealing with like a little bit of bloat. Like, honestly, my body fat's low, but I just like my stomach just fucking feels so disgusting. I, I, no real reason. I think they're valid. I mean, they, the one that I took um, was from um, Abundant Life, Health, and Wellness. I don't know. I, I did it in that's Vegas. The that sent, that's the one that Matt sent me. So Dom, my old coach, has his like a clinic that he owns in oh, Vegas. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I messaged him and I said, "Yo, I want to get this shit done." Like yeah. I just, you know, so I did it, 
Uh, I'm still that was a food sensitivity part. I'm still waiting on the poop test, but oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that that came back and he he sent it to me and I and he's and I just was going through it. I was actually on the phone with a guy going through it, and I'm just like, oh, in water. I know, I know. I'm I'm almost afraid to do it because I just don't want to be. I don't want it to like get rid of my favorite oh. foods. Don't you like peanut butter? Yeah, but. If it helps, it helps. If right? it, dude, listen, if it helps, it's yeah, it's totally fine. I don't really give a shit. I'm not I'm not really emotionally attached to any foods. If it's I think like the foods that like I'm mildly sensitive, I think that's something I can do like in moderation once in a while. Yeah. Um but like, I, I, don't, think... I don't do I don't do sweet potatoes because it fucks me up. I don't do really potatoes. I don't do egg whites because I get gat like during a prep I love to have egg whites. Egg whites, sugar free ketchup, like I love that over white fish. That's but a good it shit. Just, it just fucks my stomach. I just get mm. super gassy and bloated. All my food, I just absorb it super well. The only thing I've noticed is every time I do raw vegetables, I got to fucking burp and like I get bloated. So like, oh, yeah. Asper- asparagus was on the list. Yeah, vegetables. Like, can we, should we just. Yeah, how, how the fuck are you going to peak without your asparagus? Dude? Oh, no. And not the asparagus. Add a little, little, little extra diuretic. We're good to go. Yeah, it's all good. More diuretic. <laughs> Yeah, but I can have onions and mushrooms and peppers. So that's nice. I love those. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Does Matt have you eating vegetables right now? Not really. No. Yeah. yeah me neither. Not none. Like I, I don't think he cares are... if you do, but I don't think he cares if you don't neither. You know. Yeah. True. I, I think he has some like laid out as it's like I always look at it as like a suggestion. I mean, I do sometimes, but I just. I, I just, well, I feel like the foods, like buckwheat, that's decently high in like a fiber. Yeah. So I just don't really feel the need to have veggies. I like sourdough. Yeah, so fibrous, you're, you're, you know? you're doing that in place of rice, huh? I love buckwheat, actually, yeah. Really? I don't think, I've never done it. That so digests it? actually really, really well. What does it look like, buckwheat? It's like, the texture is like a cream of rice and oatmeal oh. together. Oh, I yeah. see it. Pull, pull it up on the screen. Yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Um, oh, I got to get rid of my other windows. Yeah, during pre- during the la- latter stages of prep, you get a little weird. You need to go extra kinky to get the kick. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It seems like there's like um, shells on it or something, like the fiber. A little bit, yeah. So do you mix your, do you mix like the chicken in with it? And eat no, it I eat it separate. Chicken? Eat it separate. Yeah. I do. Yeah. It looks good. It tastes like a cream of wheat, you said? No, no. It's like a combo. Like the texture is like a mixture of cream of rice and oatmeal. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. Buckwheat, huh? Buckwheat. Is it like instant or you cook it in the rice cooker? How do you cook it? A microwave. Microwave it. Oh, okay. You just heat it up with water. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know. Eggs I'll have to look into this. I'm I'm gonna definitely get a food sensitivity test because I want to see what's going on. I I, I, I think they're I think they're pretty legit. Sure. I've done I one. Mean, yeah, I've done one. The 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 thing that was like busted to the max, like in the red. I could. Doran said like you're pretty much a garbage disposal. I could eat whatever I want. It was only one thing that was like all the way to the red. I'm like really cow's milk. <laughs> so all the cheese that I, you know, I mean, we don't eat cheese as a bodybuilder, uh-huh. but like, but like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna stop eating pizza because it's fucking. Shit. If I'm eating pizza, it's like a carbicide. I know I'm doing something wrong. I don't give a fuck. I will take the sacrifice willingly. Uh huh. You know, if you're off season, and um, yeah. And the thing is, off season when I'm eating pizza, I will get a fancy pizza sometimes at a restaurant, but most of the time. Stuff crust pizza hut. I don't give a fuck. Hell I go yeah, hard. Oh boy. I go Shit, hard. Domino's pizza. Yeah. yeah. I like Domino's. Domino's good. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have stuff crust in Domino's? Yeah, they I do. They so. have stuff crust. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like there's something there's something about really cheap, shitty pizza that just hits the spot. I don't know about you guys, but I would choose like shitty food over like a nice expensive dinner any day of the week. <laughs> really? I don't know about that. I think I, it I tastes better. I just think it tastes better. Yeah, sometimes I get that. Listen, yeah, make no mistake, bro. I love my berries. I know, I know how you, I know how you are, dude. I love I my berries, like, I, but if I'm somebody like said, if guy. somebody said Chick Fil A, I'm down. You know, <laughs> Chick Fil A. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yep. 
for our little in and our little fucking five guys action. Yeah, I'm I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. I don't know. I always like to get like go out with the lady and have like a nice yeah uh, experience and a good oh yeah and all that good shit. You know what I mean? And if but I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm also I know you're the same too, Justin. I'm, I also like to just go get some fast food, come home, sit on the couch, yeah, put a TV movie on, and just enjoy uh, that shit and yeah, the comfort of my own household. Said, that- that's when that shitty Domino's comes in handy. You just mm-hmm. order some shitty fucking Domino's, so, get some sinister. And I feel like it's when you eat that shit is when you wake up like two pounds lighter. Uh, well, because <laughs> it's like it's, it's like a, almost like a like a cortisol dump. You just like chill. Right? You're yeah, like, yeah, oh, maybe. Like, fuck it. So, so good. I, I got a question. So Dor- Dorian will never eat a cheat meal alone. He feels me like he's a he feels like he's a loser a little bit. Dude. Me too. So, yeah, but I mean, me I'm kind per- of same. really me personally for me. I don't care about that. I I love the fact that if I could um, go and get my food and like do have my little setup with my show, it's like um, I don't mind it. I don't I don't have I don't have the idea of like yeah I'm being a fat fuck right now. It I, it doesn't like um, but a lot of people. I mean I think maybe you guys feel the same. Um, so, I feel I I feel like a loser. Yeah, it's like oh, I'm if I'm with people. I'm happy. I'm giggly. Worth it. I'm gonna fuck. If I'm by myself, I'm like I'm such a fucking loser, man. It's like, it feels like drink. It feels like drinking by yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You're like, no, I need people to be drinking and being a loser with me. That's funny. Yeah. I, 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 we, need be, we need to be losers together. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've done, I've done like hit, hit a little fucking uh, run through in and out drive through by myself and ate a burger, a couple burgers. It's all good. In the car, in the parking lot. That's yeah, yeah. That's when that, you're that's like, are you eating that's in the car? I'm like, yes. I'm you're eating in the car. <laughs> full, that's a full on loser mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Q, did you yeah, say? You, you, so what? What's what? What is it for you, Q? You like you like to eat your food solo or with people? Yeah, I'll, I'll even have some drinks by myself too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Quentin, Quentin definitely has cheat meal solo. I've witnessed. Dude, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I've witnessed, I've witnessed too. Witnessed. Back, you know, back at the mansion where we're chasing the scale. And I would yeah, like yeah, go yeah. down like Domino's Q, solo yeah. solo pizza solo pizza is another statement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't miss yeah. the solo pizza. I feel like you're the guy. You're the guy that like underneath your bed. There's just like pizza boxes and McDonald's bags. Like, <laughs> yeah, outside of prep, I'm a monster. Yeah, yeah. But hey, you got, you, you, only listen. The only thing that keeps me from doing that shit is like I can't digest it and continue to eat my food, and I'll just blow out my stomach. Yeah, if I right. wasn't gonna blow out my gut, I would I would be all about it. Yeah, no, and you that. still have your tiny little waist, so we don't know. We don't. Know. We'll see. <laughs> you pushed it pretty far this year, dude. <laughs> it, might, it might be gone. <laughs> I don't think it is. No, the thing the thing is, Q. Even if it's an inch bigger, everything else was is four inches bigger anyway. So it's like and um, it's like Dexter Jackson. Like, yeah, you maybe had a little like uh, um, it wasn't as flat as the early years, but. He always had like the razor sharp abs and the tight waist, yeah. right? So it's like at some point your structure, you'll never you'll never blow it out. I think the only guy with a great structure who kind of blew it out is like Ronnie Coleman. If you wait because yeah, if, if you think about it, like when Ronnie was like a smaller, he was like his waist was it. smaller than Q's. And then mm-hmm. he just fucking gained so much muscle, ate so much food. By the end, as you age, and I think as you age, your waist gets bigger anyway. Mm-hmm. That's what I've noticed. Like me as a as a bodybuilder, if I look just at my years competing, I'm like, yeah, my waist is bigger now than when I was than ten years ago. I don't know if it's the all the, the the heavy training I did. I don't know if it's all the food I or combination. But even if I would, I got it smaller this year. It's like it's 2019. I think it was smaller. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I think it just happens. You know. Nick, you, you've been pretty good at like gain, gaining muscle and keeping your waist tight. But you, you said you just because you do abs. Do you think it's that, or just that it just kind of stopped growing at some point? I mean, sometimes I think abs can thicken the waist. To be honest, depending mm-hmm. on what you do. But I just, like I said, I just focus on digestion as the best as I could. Obviously, I didn't pay attention that much. Um, you know, a fucking almond butter number one on my list. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Oh, um, but no, and I, I just think it's, uh, I stopped training movements that I thought overpowered my waist in particular, like squatting, rack deads, all those movements. I just stopped doing them. And I, I think that helped uh, play a role. Because I don't, I don't want to say my waist got 
smaller per se. I just think because I stopped certain things, it just was able to just stay really, really tight while everything else just kind of got wider around it. Um, and I, but I just think digestion is key. I mean, cause I, I'll be honest. I don't like practice vacuums. I don't, you know, I, I don't really do that shit. I know, I believe it works. I'm just be honest. It's just out of pure laziness. I don't really get on that as much as I should, but do I think that might make a dramatic difference? Probably not, in my opinion. Yeah, but not, maybe not dr- not dramatic for sure. Yeah, like, I no, think no, the biggest thing, like you no. said, is going to be digestion. Just making sure that you're not like bloated. Because, exactly, because if you're eating foods time. that bloat you, eventually it's just going to stick to with you. Mm-hmm. If you're eating foods that can digest best, it keeps your stomach, you know, not overeating for one, but your stomach can stay relatively flat throughout the day, even eating abundance of food. Yeah, you're 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 in a good place. See, mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys. For me, especially in an off season setting, if I'm eating a lot of whey protein, like more one or even more than one, I, I just can't digest it. I get so fucking bloated. Sometimes I'll drink two scoops of whey and it's just like for no reason. Really? You get cow's milk yeah. allergy. Yeah, I don't know. I got a, I got a I question. Don't, I don't even do, I don't drink any whey protein anymore. Yeah, I don't just food? right now. Yeah, that's, yeah. if you can do that, it's even better. So I got a question I do for you occasionally, guys. like sometimes I'll get stuck fucking, my day gets busy and I'm like, fuck, I got to just do a, whey protein cream or ice something real quick yeah it happens but like every time i do that i'm like damn dude why i can't digest this for shit mm. so i i got a question for you guys so as an open body talk about the vacuums and stuff as an open bodybuilder should a guy try to make his waist smaller more or make his just his lats fucking wider and bigger more right i mean that depends. i think make your last lighter lighter yeah. Because um and I and, for, and I think also sometimes it's all about like the shoulder mobility. Because I noticed this year, I can stick stick out my shoulder my lat way more with my shoulder blade, and like did I really gain that much lat muscle, or I'm just like instead of uh because I see guys, I mean Asan should probably work on that because a lot of guys when they pose their biceps they're kind of like that. I'm exaggerating, mm-hmm. but dude, if you would just like stick everything out more. Your arms would look bigger. Your lats would pop out more. And just some bodybuilders are not able to do that. It's not because they're big. It's because they just don't put their arms like that often enough. Yeah. You say true. Hassan? Hassan, I've, I've, if you look at his last shows that he did, his front yeah, double. Exactly his front double. His arms are a little bit like that. And also, I think it it's, also like it's, hides, hides your triceps as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really hard to – try and re-shrink your waist. I think if you can maintain it and keep it tighter, it's going to give the illusion that it's smaller, but it's really not. But within doing that, if you can make everything else around it wider, your shoulders, your lats, your legs, even your arms, for fuck's sake, it's going to give the illusion that now you have a tighter, smaller waist. Mm -hmm. But the reality is you probably don't. Like, I don't think my waist got any smaller. I just don't think I got any bigger. Did you measure your waist ever? New. No, I rather not know. I I, I did. I I did, and I'm I've act, I'm actually an inch and a half smaller than like the Olympia. Your waist? Yeah. No shit. But I, I think it's just to be honest. I think it's just the five meals instead of six. It, yeah. 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 It did something. So well, uh, then there. For, you, I mean, you're kind of proving Nick's point right there. You okay? You, I was gonna. I was gonna say fuck everything I just said. Then. <laughs> no. 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 But like <laughs> you're talking about, you're talking about prioritizing digestion. That sounds like the yeah. only consideration with the five meals is like more time to digest your food i don't think the muscles in my waist are smaller i think it's just that there's less stuff inside and less inflammation which makes the illusion of it being smaller and actually on the I, yeah but well, like, that's why like i don't think you I can swear. make your ob- i think at our age and the way we train we can't make our obliques smaller yeah. right go down the formulas formulas Go, go down to four meals. See what happens. Yeah, to, What's yeah. that? Four Probably meals? Two. Four meals. Four. Jesus Christ. He, you'll forgive him. He's French. Oh, four mm. meals. No. Quattro. No, that, that, would, that would be... The only the only times I would do four meals if I would sleep in on an off-season and I eat, like, just four giant meals. Yeah. You know? we've, all done, we've all done that. Yeah. So that's the only time you go four meals. That's the old, that's the old Sunday brunch treatment. Yeah, you, you still do that, Justin? The Sunday brunch? Because you, yeah, so that... I, did, I did it the other day. We went and had like I had like three meals worth of food for Sunday brunch. Came home, but like ten thousand calories. <laughs> yeah, I woke up and I had like two meals and then a couple scoops of whey right before bed. 
and then I felt no, bloated and shitty, cool. and, then, <laughs> and here I am complaining about. But that's funny. I feel I like for me, like my my waist is just isn't small until it's like time to get on stage. And then it's only that small because I have to fucking eat such small food amounts that by the time I'm I'm at fucking on show day, I've I've been eating twelve hundred calories for like the last three weeks. And then my waist is just like this big. Oh yeah. no. So it's so, like it's almost a good thing. Like I'm glad I don't have to feed it. Like I don't want to have to eat a lot of food because I notice as soon as food gets low, my waist just does this. Weeb? Yeah. So how so how do you carb up? You go hard earlier in the week and you pull back? Yeah, I mean, you know, Matt is always like a it's just all clean, all clean food, saturated fats, like a lot of beef, olive oil, some grass fed butter. And uh, then we just like slowly trickle it in. Q, do you have cheat meals right now or no? No. No. Yeah, this this prep, I didn't do any. I only had cheat meals at Christmas. Uh, that's it. And the rest where was were you like. Getting them, where were you getting them tomahawk steaks though? Oh, yeah, but that, that's the thing. So so now what I what I did instead is when needed, which had happened like maybe three times, three, three times since Christmas, three, four times, I would have like this giant, just a, pretty much all, as much as I can eat of a, it's like a ribeye, bone-in ribeye. Mm-hmm. And dude, people like they say filet mignon is the best cut. No, ribeye is the fucking best cut. All day, dude. Dude, I, I ordered filet mignon in a ribeye the other day. I was like, dude, why did I, you like filet mignon more than the ribeye? I do. Really? Yeah. He wow. likes the bodybuilder in him likes it because it's leaner. I True. Know, I like, but I, do, I, want, I think it does have a, a distinctive taste to it. Really? I like yeah, the ribeye. I like good, to chew on fat. good bone-in ribeye is fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I, so I chew the bone like an idiot in the restaurant. Do you? You f- fucking like a, like like here, Fred like Fred there. yeah like Fred Flintstone the straight like uh the the comic book like big chewing on the bone thing. I can see you and you ain't got your f- shoes on either, just stomping them big ass. I actually have I have uh, <laughs> slippers on usually, the barefoot yeah. shoes. <laughs> Yo Nick, I went to Barry's last time I was in Vegas and I ordered their ribeye like the big one. Man, that shit was fucking. It was good. fire, right? It was so good. What else did you get? I think I got some sort of mashed potatoes. So good. Yeah, I think that was it. I think that's all I got. So good. That's probably, yeah. that's all you need. It was so good. I've Can't never wait been. To I've, I heard. I heard the legends. Did you? Yeah, did you? Did you try the bread? Oh yeah, the bread fire. Fire. Oh, bread. Delicious. The best. Yeah. I co-signed this place. I put the stamp on it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Oh, I think I found something, guys. I want to show you. Nick, are you hungry yet? Boom. I'm always Is that hungry. it. Nick's, Nick's hungry. Las right. Vegas, Barry's downtown. Oh. Ribeye. Is that it? Or that's yeah. it right here? Oh, man. Brings up good memories. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Take that green and it's shit so, off it. I'm, it's so juicy and tender. Yeah. So you know, it's funny. All the podcasts I've done recently always ends up with just us people t- looking at food. Happens, dude. Hey, you know what's crazy? I, I I kind of fucked myself with my algorithm on Instagram. I was gonna say, let's see your explore page. Okay. So, <laughs> it's gonna be boobies and cupcakes. Explore page. Uh, can I do explore page on? Um, fuck, I don't I think, think so. I can do we, that we, on the. Really? If you just hit search, it should pop up. If not, you I, could just do it. Do it. On, just do it on your phone. Yeah, I'll do it on my on my phone's better. Okay, so oh, there's still some weird stuff. You know what's funny? Like, um, it's kind of like w- weird, weird stuff. I got a weird explore page to be honest, but there's a yeah. cookie right here. Uh-huh. But the thing is, like, I get like suggestions, like uh, suggested for you, and it's like just all this, this food. Let's see that. So there's like a ninja creamy thing. Yeah. Let's scroll. Let's scroll another thing of food here. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I think they say all you have to do is give something like look at something for two seconds. Because you know, like, sometimes I I will find something that looks so tasty. I'm like I can't eat it, but I, I gotta do something. I gotta I gotta share this with the world. So I just share my story, and then uh, you're like, oh, this uh, Instagram user loves to see this type of stuff, and they just start pumping you all this shit. Yeah, and now it's like me being hungry, and I'm just going Instagram, and there's like all kinds of like delicious stuff showing up. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I. 
I want to see it, but I think it's like I'm getting some type of like fake dopamine hit just from looking at it. Oh, you do for sure. And it's like it just fucks me up. Then I'm like, oh man, so I'm in bed, like just waking up from a nap, scrolling, and I, I see like all this delicious food, and I, I'm like, dude, am I making making it harder for myself right now? What is this thing? I don't even know what that is. Bacon. Move your phone over. There you go. Oh, are you on your phone, Nick? So you got like the yeah yeah. Mm. yeah oh, yeah. what is this? See that? Ooh, What's look that? at them boobies. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get in that uh, in that group, Nick? You ever fall in that trap? No, because sometimes I follow uh, people from the gym, and then oh, really? um, I think they just sometimes there's some people they change the type of content they put on. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> you poor bastard! Oh man, I know, I know, I know what you're dealing with, dude. Dude, in there again. Mm-hmm. Suggested for you. See that? Yep. It's I'm like, finally at that. I'm finally at that point where, like, dude, again, zero, zero. I, I swear, it's everywhere on my Instagram. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Look. Hey, Justin, are you dieting right now? Me, no, no, dude. I mean, I'm, why don't I'm you go have some cookies right now, Justin? Yo, yeah, bro, bro, chill, dude. You're good. Yo, you gotta, gotta, gotta Justin, go. Yeah, what's up? Listen, I just lost that where like the food just didn't do anything for me, and now you're meals, yeah. Yeah, a bro. week ago they just started tasting good. Like everything, uh-huh. every day, the sauces I use, everything is tasting so much better. It's so funny. You're like, fuck, olive oil is amazing. You forget how good it is. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Yeah, it is so good. Dude, I, I licked, I licked the spoon off the olive oil. So I measure a teaspoon, and I'm like, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> drop. I like the drop. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's freaky, man. That's freaky. you know what I, I know it is crazy, right? So the thing is, like. I'm said, of course, like, um, like, uh, was it Nick? It's Nick Trigley said in my comments, like, fuck bread and cheese. The food will be there after the show. I'm like, dude, I can't help it. If my brain will think about bread, cheese, and all this shit, this is just because my body's starving it. It's like if I would be in nature, it would be like, huh? It was in my comments because I said bread and cheese. It was a a progress shot, whatever. Yeah. And it was like, fuck that. Like, um, the food will be there after the show. I know that. You don't think I'm. Yeah. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm doing the same work, but also, maximal he effort. A, he hasn't done a contest prep in like 10 fucking years, so shut up, dude. <laughs> no, but I, I know what he means, but it's like, you don't think as a, we're all champions here, right? As a well, champion, you're going to do the work no matter what. But yeah. I'm also a fucking human being. I'm going to think about oh. bread, cheese, cookies, cake, all this shit that I can't have. And you know what's crazy? Give me two days after the show, I'll be like, oh. Yeah, it's probably gonna be gone. It's like, it's, it's like a feeling you have that you think you want all this shit, but once you're all stuffed up and bloated, you're like, "What have I done?" It's like post not clarity. It's like you're fucking. <laughs> yeah. like, it's post, exactly what it is. Post binge like clarity. A, a burger with some ice cream. You're like, "Oh my god, that sucks, dude." Yeah, man, this, it wouldn't suck right now. That's for sure. It's, it, it seems like you you would want it the most when you can't have it, and then yeah. when you, when you can have it, it's like, should I really have this right now? You know, I used to be able to like during a contest prep or like after a show, I used to be able to fucking pig out, eat ice cream. I'd be fine. Now, if I go out and I have burgers, ice cream, shit, I'm like, I can't do it. So sick. Like I, I've thrown up like after my show, like, because I thought I could eat food and I just couldn't. So I still have to be, I have to be choosy about what I eat. I think when you, I think when we're younger, we can just pig out more. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has to do with age. Because when I was Mm -hmm. young, I was fucking relentless. But now, if I, like, yeah, I'll be like sick the next day. Can't move. Me too. You think it's because we're taxing our digestive system much more than the average person, or is oh, just because? Dude, yeah. I think that's yeah. a part of it for sure. Yeah, we're always eating, right? Because so, somebody will like, if somebody like eats crap at dinner time, they probably didn't eat enough during the day, right? Yeah. And then they eat a lot of food at night. Oh, I'm stuffed, and then they wake up in the morning and just have toast, one toast and a coffee, and they. They have a sandwich at noon, and then they eat a giant dinner and snacks at night. And the, the, the digestion, the, the, their digestive system worked less than us eating like six meals a day for like two years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely, dude. I mean, we're pounding. We're pounding. We're not meant to pound down five, six thousand calories a day for no. months on end. It's I absurd. think we're. I think we're meant to eat just like a huge amount of meat or like berries once or twice a day, yeah. and just move around all day with spears and arrows. Yeah, I don't think we've quite evolved into no. evolved yet to absorb this ridiculous amount of food or mm-hmm. junk or sugar. 
All right. So hey, what's up, Nick? How, how many weeks out are you, Nick? Twelve. Twelve. Weeks out. Huh. Okay. And 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 Quentin is Quint is twelve weeks in. Twelve weeks in. 12 That's weeks it. Out. That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And Justin, what are you at right now? Are you you're twelve. Your weeks. Uh, so what's your weeks? Weeks out? What? I don't know. Are you doing next year I'm, or? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not competing this year. Oh, I'm taking the. I'm taking the whole year off to quit being small. Would you Would you do New York next year? Uh, yeah, I would love to do New York next I year. I think uh, my I don't, I don't. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'm. I'm gonna be looking at something earlier in the year next year. Yeah, I think my training partner Morgan oh, wants to do his sorry. first show next year. The New York Pro. His first show. Yeah. No, he's a, his first show of the year. He's already competed the oh. last year. He did the top five. He did pretty good. But as a tall guy, he, yeah, needs, he's humongous. I, he needs to be, I think he needs to be like 290 on stage or 300 on stage, to be honest. What yeah, was his last show? He, uh, Ron Parlo over dieted him. I think he was like too low. He was like, um, I don't know, was he like 270 or something? But but when he worked with Skyler, Skyler brought him back up. I just can't remember what he Maybe, made. Maybe, yeah. I know Ron just like really brought him, brought him down like super hard, but like too, too far. Because yeah. now I look at it, I'm like, dude, your glutes are like, there's no faults, nothing. You got veins everywhere. You got abs. It's like this guy is not supposed to be under 290 off stage. He looks pretty lean at like 330 or whatever yeah, he is right now. Yeah, yeah, right. 320, yeah. Yeah. It's humongous. Yeah, super huge. Should we, uh, should we answer a few questions? Yeah, let's do but, that. And then I'm going to fucking this, go eat. I put up a little Q&A on my, on my story to see if I can get something. Here we go. You guys keep talking. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go see Quentin's latest update. Sorry, I'm gonna go see Quentin's latest update on the Instagram. There you go. Oh. What it, What is your unpopular opinion on some popular exercises? Anybody have anything? Unpopular that, that opinion. Uh, oh, unpopular. Yeah, exercises. sure. Uh, I don't think you need to uh, bench press to have a big chest. I don't think so. Either. I don't think you need a deadlift to have a big back. No. I, I like the deadlifts I've been doing this whole prep, though, which is a variation of the Dorian Yates deadlift where you take a rack pull without the rack with constant yeah. tension oh. and I actually round my kind of my upper back and I use my my erectors with no so hip hinging. That, like big pull on your traps. Yeah, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. I feel that did something to my back. But... um. I don't think traditional deadlifts off the floor for back. I think that's better for legs and glutes. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing them, and it's been great for my back. Me too. Yeah, like off the floor? Yeah. Off the but floor, think, right? Yeah, but I do see, like, I think for a lot of people it doesn't work. I just think. It didn't me, really do much for me. I, I'd i rather do rack deads, to be honest. Mm -hmm. See, when I do I rack deads, like... I feel it all in my glutes. But from the floor, the, those deadlifts, I feel it in my erectors. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like have a huge conventional, ass. conventional deadlifts, I feel a lot in my upper back. And when I'm doing stiff legs, I feel a lot in my low back. That's funny, right? I, I, feel like, like... I feel like it's really hard to get your – to really hit your erectors with any other movement with that much load exposure. I feel like – I personally feel like deadlifts are extremely valuable. I like Not deadlifts. that you need, the, need them to have a, a big back. but I think You need very... some type of variation in your program, period, yeah. I think. Or, or, or you're missing out. I think you should have some hinging where you're stabilizing and bracing through mm -hmm. the back. I think that your spinal erectors need to take the brunt of the load of any, of one movement, at least whether it's bent barbell row, dumbbell row, T-bar row, something. You need to be hinged. Ere erected and, once a week. And erectors need to be stabilizing the weight. That doesn't have to be a deadlift. So mm -hmm. like Nick, I don't know, do you do like a T-bar row or anything like that? Any bent over rows? But you did in the past. Like right now, it's maybe unfair to talk about what you're doing right now, considering how. <laughs> in the like, past, well, I would do barbell right. row, T-bar row, deadlift, one arm row in the same session. Running yes. special. See, there yeah. you go. There you go. Running so like special. it's it's safe it's safe to say to get to where you're at and to build the amount of tissue you had in your back, you did do all these things. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But it's like it's it's such a, it's such a, a, a sensitive topic, right? Because I could say like, yeah, it did. But doing all that versus what I do now, I feel like my back looks better now. Yeah, I mean it's gonna refine and get and improve, but I feel like you're able to maintain a lot of that. Oh yeah, of stuff you're doing, you know what I mean. So I, 
I don't know. I, I personally think it's like a foundational movement that especially as you're coming up, everyone should be doing some form of I, I I would definitely put it in a beginner's program. Mm-hmm. But what about this, though? Barbell squats. I don't think no. like I don't you don't need that. Like, I feel like you can you can replicate that movement pattern better and more efficiently on a hack squat, pendulum squat, anything something like that, where you can get that knee flexion. It's not something that you can or that you can't replace. I feel like it's hard to replace a hinging movement where you're loading the low back, but it is not hard to replace like a squat. So I feel like I that's think, one that like I think everyone should learn how to do a squat and learn mm-hmm. how to do a heavy squat in their early in their career, and then from there you can branch out and do safety bar, hack squats, all these all this shit. But I, I think I think a I think a bodybuilder should learn how to do a squat, right? I think everybody should learn and be efficient with a barbell. You should be good with the barbell. Mm-hmm. I think that's important. Mm-hmm. But I will say there is some discussion on whether or not, like, I don't know, let's say you have a completely brand new person to the gym and you put two guys, you put one guy doing hack squats and doing machine rows and Smith machine press or hammer strength chest press. And then you get another guy that's doing nothing but barbell, free weight, dumbbell, barbell squats, Who's going to progress faster and put on the most muscle just be, just out of that group? What do you guys think? I think I think the back squat you probably build more erectors and glutes than See, back squat. And I feel like you can, in my, in my opinion, I feel like you can find the the movement patterns better, and you can connect with the muscles better, and you can create better better movement patterns on the machines. And then let's just say you like learned how to press on like a machine and you learned how to get into a big deep stretch and you learned how to contract and you learned how to control that. And then you went and used dumbbells. You're probably gonna be better with the dumbbells after that than you would have if you just walked in and like used dumbbells for the first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like the same with the same with the squat pattern. Like if you're on, a, if you're on a hack squat and you were like feet were low and you're driving your knees over your toes and you're getting that crazy quad uh, pump just like big stretch on the quad, knee flexion, knees over toes, and you feel that movement. And you're driving up, and then you can get under a barbell, and you might be able to kind of replicate that with a barbell. <clears throat> where without that other squatting pattern, you might be inclined to shoot your hips back, load your low back, and you wouldn't understand that movement pattern as well. So you know the Rubiel. Uh, maybe Nick that's Zilla. the un- unpopular uh, popular yeah, opinion. Maybe, but what about Nick Zilla? Have you seen him squat? I haven't. I haven't. I would think if you would be good at squatting, you would show it. For sure. I mean, you, do we know we all we all know you don't need to like barbell squat no. to build big legs. You need what do you genetics. guys think about that? As far as like, what do you think would be more beneficial? I think it's the intensity. I think you need to have the genetic response and just fucking kill yourself for legs for a few years, and then if they're gonna blow up, they're gonna blow up. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, any, the biggest variable within training is like knowing how to train hard. Yeah, and you can't I think re- so. you can't really you can't really teach that. Like, no. I feel like when I first got into the gym, like training hard and going to failure wasn't a hard thing for me. I didn't have to like find that. I didn't have to be told like, "Hey, you're training like a pussy. I need you to train harder." Mm-hmm. In fact, I kind of I kind of dialed back. I was the guy I used to do like crazy drop sets on leg press, like fucking eight plate drops, like drop a plate, drop a plate, <laughs> drop a plate, and like doing all this volume. Then I go super set with leg extensions. Then I wouldn't. I would like couldn't sit down on the toilet for a whole week and my legs would be sore from week to week. Like I've pulled back on that. I th- yeah. I think you can't really, you can't really teach that to somebody who doesn't have it. You got to have the demons inside. You got to sure. fight some demons. <laughs> you know, I think we're all like, if all the pros, there's something like wrong with us, to be honest, all the top level pros, there's something inside of us. That's like made us fucking push ourselves like that past the mm-hmm. For what reason? Why are you by yourself? On a fucking Sunday, whatever day it is, and you're just killing yourself on the leg press, and you're fucking 20 years old, or squats, yeah. whatever. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's different than that guy versus the guy who plays like fucking, I don't know, Call of Duty or whatever it is, like eating pizza on the couch alone. Yeah, but you you do it after, <laughs> right? <laughs> he did after my legs. Yeah, after after legs. Yeah, I don't know. I do think there's something that's always a little fucked up, whether we're processing some trauma or yeah. I don't I know. Me like personally, it. like I came from I came from riding BMX and BMX is like beating yourself up it's all day. Fucking hard, man. It's really know. hard. You know, it's one of yeah. those things like I, you know, you spend years and years and years beating the shit out of yourself. So by the time I got into the gym, like I was used to routinely hurting myself, 
trying something for months and months on end and it not working. Like I built a lot of patience and resilience and I learned the, the, like the, the value obsession of work. was the obsession was there with BMX yeah. already. So like, I wasn't really worried about like, uh, like, uh, like the immediate return, like the, the instant gratification. Mm. You, you want to hit another question that I'm going to, I'm going to bounce. Yeah, that's all good, dude. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. I'm flexing my bladder. All right. What's your go-to off season intra intra HD? Code yeah. Shire 10. I like carb HD with the EAs on my high days right now. Oh, and they yeah. revamped, they revamped their carb HD flavors, huh? So that the, mm -hmm. pe the peach is, uh, I think it's all just cluster now for the peach and the strawberry one. So yeah. um, I really like them. I've tried all three flavors mixed the other day with my EAs. It's not bad. It's good. It's like, yeah. I, I was like, I'm going to try to make Skittles. <laughs> what about uh, donuts or donut holes? Donuts. Donuts for sure. I think yeah, donuts. I think donuts. But the donut holes is just that one version of a donut in another shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's less. It's less sweet. Fuck that. It's less sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like sweet. A smaller treat. You're right. It's like more like a snack, like chips. You just eat a whole box of thirty. What's yeah, your favorite yeah, donut place? Like to queue around the area. Are you a donut uh, guy? Crispy, Crispy Cream. Crispy Cream is hard to beat. You're right, dude. You know, oh, I, when I was in Toronto, I got I ordered duck donuts. That shit was super good. I, that, I had duck donuts. There's one right here yeah, near my house. Those are good. Yeah, they, they, give little free, they, they give a little free uh, rubber ducks. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. I have like three of them. Yeah. Um, these questions suck. <laughs> I, the thing is, I do a questionnaire. I, whenever I say I'm doing a question for the podcast, I get like no questions. And then you I'll should. do a question for myself. I get a bunch, but they're just like directed at me. Mm. Um, well, this is kind of on the same exact... Uh, no, but it says heated debate at work. Rank donuts, cupcakes, and cookies one to three. Ooh, I think oh, go, go again. Go again. Uh, donuts, cupcakes, and cookies one to three. Cookies, cupcakes, donuts. Cupcakes over donuts. Yes, I love cupcakes. No way. Cupcakes no way. done. I'm not a donut guy. Cupcakes huh. done right is really good. But the thing with donuts, I find there's more vers uh, versatility. Versatility, variety, versatility. versatility. Yep. Yeah, I'll right. say yep. cookies, donuts, cupcakes. Cookies, cookies first donuts. for sure. Yeah, for cookies. Dude, there, there's the AV 2.0 with the crumbs by six. It's like a almond croissant inspired cookie. I think it's out almond now. Croissant? Yeah, crumbs by six. I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll end on that for me. Are you guys a, a like a crunchy cookie or a chewy cookie kind of guy? Chewy. I'm, I'm more both. chewy. I'm more chewy, Chewy's but uh, imagine both in one. Like, Chewy, yeah, soft, and gooey, baby. Yeah. Matt used to have me like Matt would have us. I don't know if you ever did this with you, Nick, where he'd have you get like the Tate's cookies when you're peeking. Yep. Like, those little, those are. So I hated them, those but things. I you they were good. Things? Yeah, because they're too crunchy, but they're good in the moment, though. That's dude. I love the crunch. Those things are so thin and delicious. See that? Sending OD to one of our favorite croissants. This cookie is filled with frangipani, almond cream, layered with white chocolate and caramel shards, crunchy in house, salted caramel uh, bark crumbs. Well, in organic almond and dusted with powdered sugar. The AV 2.0. It's good, right? So this is that that is your specific cookie. You yeah, I made, I made I made with um with the crumbs by six. So he's giving me a, he's gonna give me a box for the uh, the Arnold. Oh, good for e you. Dude. Eat it uh, Sunday morning a couple, just Hell to yeah. uh, you know. I'll try to be uh, responsible because it's the Arnold UK. <laughs> Hand it out to the fans. No, mine, mm -hmm. all mine. Fuck them. All right, boys, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce, but you can uh, keep going for a couple more questions. Justin, you, I'm gonna leave, but all you're gonna do after is press stop recording and just wait for everybody to be uh, uploaded, and nobody okay. can close the windows until that is done. I'll have my phone with you if there's any problems. Um, I'm out, guys. Thanks for support on the uh, YouTube stuff. Check out my YouTube channel too. I got lots of training videos on there and Asian Muscle. Is busting out some content for you guys for the Arnold. So, I love you guys. Love you too, buddy. We'll see Peace you next out. week. I'm actually I'm flying up there on Monday. Dope. See you. See you guys yeah. there. All right. See you later. Bye. So, Quinn, are you? So, I'm. They got me flying up on Monday, and then we're all supposed to drive to the Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. On Carpool Thursday, one. right? 
Yeah, on Thursday. Who's all who who am I driving with? I have no idea what's going on. I have, I have no clue. Like uh I'm Cody, Val, uh Dorian, myself, like we I think I don't I think we're all driving separate. So yeah. You pick your poison. Um I just have to I'll just ride in the very back it's like this. Yeah, like there's gonna be tons of space because I'm pretty sure we're all driving separate. Cool what about you, Nick. You're actually you're actually coming to the Arnold, huh? Yeah, I'm driving up Friday night. Cool. Driving up. How far is it? Are you in uh, Jersey? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. How close are you? Like seven hours. Oh, damn. Yeah. How long have you been there? I'm surprised you're driving, bro. I don't. I didn't feel like you'd be a driver. I I will choose driving over flying any day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Seven hours is pretty long, though. I'm not the one driving. It's about (laughs) six. Who's driving? My dad. Are you going with the guy? Oh, oh, really? Pops? My parents are coming. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. and you're doing you're uh gonna work the uprising booth that one and uh hd hd yep it's awesome That's yeah I, I i i told them i said i i'm, I'm only gonna come if my mom goes <laughs> hell yeah dude how's it feel being at home does this feel like a comfort thing like you feel like you're a little more locked in being around family yeah i'm i'm in a better spot for sure i love vegas don't get me wrong vegas is vegas but Home's home, yeah. you know. Yeah, I are know you doing you. your whole prep there? Yeah, I'm staying here. That's what's up. Huh? Yeah. I mean, the shows in the shows in Jersey too, right? Technically, yeah. <laughs> Technically, yeah. from where the show, like from where my where my mom's house is, it's like an hour, like an hour and a half. So okay. it's not bad at all. It looks like you have a pretty good gym out there. It doesn't look like you're limited. That gym's all. incredible. Yeah, Which gym are you going to? Performance Strength Academy. Is that where it's you were in, training before you moved to Vegas? Huh? Is that where you're training before when you lived up there? No, this is a new gym. Brand new. Okay. Like it literally it literally just opened um in the summer, actually. Right on. And I'm I'm friends with the owner. He's got all it's all prime, all Atlantis, some pieces from um Arsenal. He's got the Cybex light press. He's got like low key different like brand old school brands in there, but it's mainly just prime and Atlantis. Dumbbells go to two hundos. Not that I really touch those, but it's just nice to see. You did it one time. I remember there's a video you going around like shoulder press. The Arnold, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> dude. that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. So what's up? Are you uh you doing the guest posing at yep. uh, Pittsburgh? So how many weeks out are you gonna be? One week at that point. You're gonna be one week out. Exactly one week. That's wild. One week. That's fucking cool. How are you guys gonna handle that? Are you gonna like peak for that? Or are you just gonna kind of show up and pose? I, I, I'm what for the guest posing? Yeah. Why would I peek for it? I'll be a week out. That's what I'm saying. I'm just wondering, like, are you guys gonna like if you plan it? Are you just gonna show up as is, whatever? Who gives a fuck? Get on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Derek's gonna peek for it. Well, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. fucking awesome. That's gonna be fun, man. What about, no. what about you? Are you uh, you got any guest posing lined up? Like. I have a guest posing lined up in Louisiana, like at the end of the summer, like August 29th or something. But right before I compete, I, I I don't have anything planned. Cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I know Nick. I know you wanted to keep it pretty short as well. Should we just wrap this bad boy up? Yeah. Well, we've been on for about an hour. Unless yeah. you guys got any any fucking hot bodybuilding topics we didn't cover. Nope. New Love Is Blind is on. I'm gonna go catch that. <clears throat> oh, the new the new shit is. Yep, dude, that show I, I, that show was so funny, bro. <laughs> I love I it. Like, yeah, we binge. We like ripped through that whole first half of that season right away. What about you, Quentin? You watching it? I I've actually I've been slacking, but I saw some promo about some girl saying she looked like Megan Fox. Megan Fox. No, and, no, no, no. She's like, I look like um MGK's girlfriend or something. Like, oh my all, god! Playing all stupid, like bitch, don't. don't <laughs> yeah, she didn't know who it was. Uh, yeah, you know, like I just don't know her name. It's like I, MGK's I don't, girl. I don't see it. I don't see it. And the dude was like yeah. Megan Fox. <laughs> and the first thing he said goes, "Well, she she lied to me." Said she oh yeah. Like Megan Fox. <laughs> Okay, I gotta see fuck, this. Dude. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm super excited. Well, then on that note, I've got some uh, Love is Blind to watch. Yep. You look like your mama's super into it, too. Oh, dude, she's talking shit the whole time. <laughs> it's awesome. hilarious. What about your dad? Does your dad get into that stuff? No, nah, he's in bed sleeping. Is he? He gets up, up at four. He gets up at like three in the morning. Really? What's your dad do? 
uh, he he drives a, a big tractor trailer, mm. delivers the foods, auto schools, and restaurants and shit. Right on, dude. He's the fucking the blue collar dad. That's exactly what he is. That's what's up, man. Good for him, dude. Papa Walker. Yeah. He's coming to the Arnold as well. Yeah, he'll be there. Well, good. I love your parents. I always love seeing them. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, this was fun, and uh, I know fucking poor Antoine's starving. He was really going through with all the cookies and sweets and shit. Yeah. You got to start blocking that stuff out. This last prep, I used to do that. I used to like scroll those pages, but I just started like, like if it suggested, I'd say not interested, not interested. Oh. Just ignore those pages because they can be yeah. torture, dude. It only gets worse. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It just gets snowballs worse. and gets worse and worse and worse. All right, all right gentlemen. Well, uh, I'll see you on like Monday. Actually, probably not. I get in super late on Monday and then on Tuesday I'll be there. But okay. then what are you training see, Tuesday? See Arnold. Um, I probably won't train Monday, so I'll usually be training back. But I might, I might just whatever, whatever you're training, I'll jump in. Okay. I'm training chest if you, if you want to do chest. Yeah. I usually, I always train chest on Tuesday, so I'm yeah. totally fine okay. with that. Okay, sick. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be fun. All right. All right, gentlemen. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Right. Oh, guys. Peace. Here.